Musk is on our side, guys. Oh, I actually did see this. I know I might get some pushback for this because people love talking about this kind of stuff and like getting upset about it. So this is what the tweet was. And this tweet is a retweet of a retweet of a screenshot of another tweet. And so this is the original text. This is actually where it came from. And we'll actually look at what happened. A lady says, and she's the global head of marketing at Xbox. She says, raise your hand if you're not a white man and you buy video games. And she says, no hate to white dudes. It's just another day in the gaming industry where minorities have to prove that they exist. Everybody knows minorities play video games. Like, what is this? It's like, also, it's stupid and maybe like a little bit awkward, but I don't really think that this is, uh, Am I the person that's going to have to have the hot take that this isn't really that big of a deal and I don't really find this to be inherently racist? It's a big deal because she's head of global marketing for Xbox. I mean, she's on a mission to make everything as woke as possible. Yeah, I see why people think that, but the problem is that when, in you, when you're a hammer, every problem looks like a nail. And I don't think this one's a nail, guys. I don't. Now, it's, maybe it's a thumbtack. Maybe it might even be a screw. But it's really not a nail. It's just a temperature check of like, hey, there actually are minorities here. Can I get some representation? Can you guys like tell, tell them that this is true? Like, I don't think that this is advocating for like any sort of exclusion. I don't think it's advocating for, uh, you know, degradation. I really don't think it's a weird. You could say it's a weird post, like for sure. But like I've done, for example, a lot of other like polls in my stream, like, you know, are you white or not? Are you black or not? And so like I've done this before because I was just curious to see what people would vote. And I don't think this one is that big of a deal. Am I crazy? And I get how you could perceive this as being bad. I do. And like, I, do, I totally see that. But like, I try to interpret things in good faith. And I assume that People are not as bad as, you know, like the worst tweet makes them out to be. Like, here's here's my, my perspective, right? Is that there's a lot of people that do and say stuff like this that are a lot worse. So whenever I see somebody who's kind of on the edge and it's like, oh, well, if I interpret this in the most um, uncharitable way, I can turn this person into a bad guy. Well, why would I focus on doing that when there's people that do that job for me because they leave all the, all the ambiguity and they're just pieces of shit? So what am I going to do? Get mad at her? I think it's stupid, too, but I don't really think this is evidence of hating white men. I just I don't. I don't think so. There's nothing wrong with this. Could be perceived other, every other way. Doing it and just asking for reactions. The Internet is currently on fire because of this bullshit. I mean, people, most people that consume internet content are not even on, uh, you know, they're, uh, people who consume video games are not even on the internet looking at this content. Uh, like, let's totally be honest here, right? I uh, love your content, been watching for years, but lately it seems all your content has been complaining about world culture, like it's boring. Seems like you're stuck in a corner trying to please an incel audience. I think that really, like, if I look at, if I look at your chat logs, you're a WoW player and you're just unhappy that I'm not talking about WoW. Because, like, if I go and I look at my videos, for example, so there's one video and then the second one. So out of 16 videos, two of them are about that. And also, like, I find that to be kind of very odd. It's like you're you're literally not even listening to what I'm saying. I'm actually... I'm actually kind of defending this. I'm defending this. I'm saying, like, this isn't really that bad. It seems like it seems potentially innocuous. And it, it it's like people are overreacting. Ignoring queer bad actors, saying racist shit is how we got here in the first place. Yeah, exactly. That's why I try to focus on the ones that are like the uh, the worst instances. It's a statement, not a poll. She's had a marketing already has access to player statistics. Well, I think she was trying to demonstrate it for the people that were, you know, following her Twitter or something like that. And again, like, I'm not saying that it's not stupid. I'm just, I'm saying that, like, I don't really think it's that big of a deal. Like, am I crazy? Like, I, I just, I, I don't think that every single time that somebody makes a tweet that could be interpreted in an uncharitable way, uh, you know, we need to have a fire drill for it. Like, that's really it. Uh, we gotta stop being on edge all the time. And that's the problem. I think that's actually a really good, you know what? That's a really good way to say it. So I think people are so on edge on the internet that they're constantly looking for anything that can, like, set them off. And they're looking to get, like, really mad about this stuff. People are on edge constantly and like so if they see anything or hear anything that's gonna like slightly contradict like what their uh their 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 mental narrative is they just like completely fucking like go aggro right and i think again like this isn't like it's kind of stupid to tweet this like for sure it's stupid but like it's not a big deal it's really not it's not worth like going out of the uh out of your way to get like really mad about it because i think that like really so this is the way that i see it 
is that whenever I make a tweet or I, I get upset about somebody or, or don't get upset about somebody, I think about and I make a decision personally, like, do I think this person is trying to act in good faith or not? And if the person is trying to act in good faith, I generally kind of allow them to say what they want, even if it sounds bad, if that makes sense. And the way that I determine whether somebody's trying to act in good faith or not is the way that they communicate. So for example, and also prior communication. So for example, like with some of those like employees at Sweet Baby, you could find 10 years of like derogatory negative tweets about white people. Well, if somebody could pull this up from Kelly, then I definitely agree with them. But one point on a graph doesn't do anything, but multiple make a line. So whenever I see somebody makes one tweet like this that's kind of awkward, but ultimately innocuous and not really hateful in any real capacity, and I see people getting mad about it, I think to myself, are we becoming the same thing that we're fighting against? Are, are we just emotionally reacting to every single time that a person says something that makes us even slightly uncomfortable or feels slightly awkward, and now we're acting like it's a big deal because we're so on edge, we're so upset and mad about every single time that somebody does this that anything that even seems like it's against us, we immediately attribute every negative aspect of the people that we actually don't like to people that might not really have anything directly to do with them and then get mad about it. I'm sorry, guys, but like this is it's a bit too much and it makes you seem unreasonable. It makes you seem crazy. And I don't have a problem with calling this out if there are multiple points on a line, but there aren't here. This seems like a, 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 a awkward, silly thing to say, but this is not inherently racist. It's not discriminatory. It's not degrading. It, it's just awkward. And so whenever you get mad about every single time that a person makes a comment like this, what you do, I think, to a lot of normal people is that you alienate them from taking you seriously because you're not acting like a serious person. You're acting unreasonable. And I don't think that we should accommodate unreasonable people even whenever they are on our 50% of our side. Because if you accommodate and you, um, you know, like basically reconcile and allow a, an unreasonable person to do what they do, you then become unreasonable. I think you do. And I don't want to be unreasonable. And I think getting this upset about this is unreasonable. I do. Uh, now, if there is more information about her, I have no problem making a follow-up and correcting myself, but I don't see this as being too big of an issue, and if I take it in good faith and I'm charitable with what she's saying, this doesn't seem to be that problematic, and I think people are overreacting. That's what I think. It's 100% attack a white man. If you want to know if it's racist, replace white of any other color, and let's see what people think. I mean, I would have no problem with somebody doing that. Like, I'm not talking about, like, for example, I understand what you're saying, and I think that you're right. If somebody had said, if you're not a black guy and you buy video games, would they get hate for this? Yeah, they, they probably would from people like this, but that's also stupid. So, like, if you fight stupid with stupid, the only thing you do is you're stupid. That's it. So, like, I don't really find that to be a very good argument. Well, because they're stupid, then we should be stupid. Well, that's fine. If you want to be stupid, go ahead and be stupid. But don't go and get upset at me whenever I don't want to carry that banner. It's not about being upset. It's about relating everything to skin color. It's just boring and tiresome. Yeah, it's annoying. But being stupid works, sadly. I mean, again, like, this is the problem. And so, like, because I've farmed a lot of content, and this is an issue that I have a lot because of the way that I cover things, is that, like, it would be very easy for me to make a new video and talk about how bad she is and how stupid she is for making this tweet and farm hate on another person who I think doesn't, you know, who I think is, is you know, maybe on the wrong 50% of the side, right? And what ends up happening is that whenever I do that, and I have covered things about, like, you know, the woke video game stuff and, like, that localizer stuff, and so, you know, people are following me for that information, and I think people start to get programmed and they become so programmed to think in a binary thing of like, these people are either with us or against us. And you have to understand that in order to win a cultural struggle, I think you have to be, you, you have to, you have, to have a, a type of behavior that's sympathetic in a way. And I think that if you get really upset and mad at every single person that even slightly opposes you, you have what happens right now uh, to these people happen to you. 
uh, where like everybody is just interpreting it completely out of context and getting as, as mad as possible. Now, don't take the blame. I, I expect viewers to think properly. Yeah, well, what I'm saying is like, because I've attracted a lot of people, and this is also, by the way, I'm not like crying about this or complaining about this. I'm just saying like, this is the nature of like, like a lot of times I, I will cover like a topic and I will cover it a lot. And then people that are like super dogmatic about thinking in that one direction will hear me say something that contradicts the like established dogma of that mindset and then the moment that they hear that they enrage they get really mad because they said oh well you're betraying us you're 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 now like uh disagreeing with us and now like oh you you're this is wrong and so people don't want to think about an issue they want to fight for their side so what happens is that anybody who's perceived as not being on 50 percent of their side uh is seen as an enemy i don't think this person has displayed enough information for me to think that they are an enemy. That's the way I look at it. Now, that might change in time, but as for now, I don't think that's the case. I don't think, I think this is an overreaction. Uh, by Pierce, this globally, white people are a minority. Well, yeah, but we're not talking about global statistics, right? You're talking about America and like Western culture, which white people are a majority as far as I know. I think if you replace by video games with on a Tesla, I think everyone would see the background for a question like that. It isn't necessarily unreasonable to ask. Sure. So on one hand, you're saying don't assume things, and on another, uh, when you're in favor, you assume things? Yes. So basically, the more information I have, the easier it is for me to assume information. So that's what I was saying before about, like, so you think about it, you, you think about, like, statistics, right, or anything like that. How do you make a line on a graph? Well, you have to have multiple points, and then you draw a line in between all of those points, right? Where you do like the thing where it's like the line up and down, and you know you figure out like what the what the deviation there is. And the reason why you do that, where does what is a, what is the purpose of a line? The purpose of a line is to show you where the thing is going. So, that's my perspective. Is that so? The more data points that I have, the better I can predict where that trend is going to go. So that's that's the reason. So so you you're saying it in a way that might seem accusatory or like a double standard. But the truth is that you're totally right. The more information that you have, the easier it is for you to assume further information. Absolutely. Uh, the fact that we have to talk about left in video games is a bit ridiculous. After adding a necessary feeling into video game, forcing an option ideal on you. And do you even have to listen? No, you don't have to. I don't think that I, I totally disagree. Um, I don't I don't think that they're being reasonable with that either. But uh, I just want to let you guys know that, you know, with any of these topics, I will always I will always have the opinion that I have, even if it is unpopular, even if I have to go against what is kind of like the established narrative, I will always do it. I'll read some of the comments about this in general. Honestly, the biggest problem for minorities, white women trying to purse puppy them. <laughs> That's funny. I, I, I really like that term. I've never heard of that before. Yeah, there it is. I, 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 can, I can definitely see that, like, if I was a minority, I would probably, I don't know about be offended by this, right? Like, be offended by this, what the fuck, right? But I think I would be, I, I, I would be like, I don't need this. I would think to myself, I don't need this. So, yeah. My brother, you are a minority? Am I really? <laughs> I, I don't know. I feel like I'm kind of like, I am a, uh, you know, a, a white guy. I'm straight. I come from a European background, um, you know, I'm like, I would say like grew up like, you know, working class, middle class. I feel like I'm kind of like the, the you know, the, I, I'm the default skin in a lot of cases, right? Uh, kind of a minority. I mean, it, the truth is like, I live in Texas, right? And in Texas used to be Mexico. In my high school, I was a minority. And actually like with a lot of like places I go, at least locally, like I actually am a minority. I just, I never really think about it because... You know, I, I was lucky enough to, I, I grew up in a very multiracial place, and so I never really, I, I, I never really saw things through that lens. Which is like, I remember it was kind of odd whenever I went to, like, for example, uh, you know, like other places that weren't, like, in, like, my area. And, or, like, I was at different, like, just totally different places, and it was, like, all white people. And it was like, wow, this is odd, because it's like, I, not really, like, I went to Whole Foods, and I was like, there are a lot of white people here. <laughs> I didn't even really know what to think. <laughs> and it's like, cause I, I went, cause I, the only reason I went into Whole Foods, it was whenever, um, I'll tell you, it was whenever Nick and Milena picked me up and we had breakfast together on Nick's stream. 
and I, I waited for them at Whole Foods for them to pick me up. And I went inside to see how much the eggs were. Because I, I had heard that, like, the prices of, like, all produce and everything had gone up dramatically. And so I said, well, let's fucking, let's go to a downtown Austin, Texas. One of the, like, biggest, highest expensive real estate places in the country. And we're going to go and see how much eggs are at a Whole Foods. And I checked. The fucking things were $9. $9 for eggs. Drives me crazy. Can you believe that? $9. You found their spawn point, yeah. <laughs> spawn point for what? All the white people? <laughs> they all come out of Whole Foods? Is that it? And here's the thing, right? Is that... Like, I, I wish that we could go back to a time where we could make jokes about this stuff, and I think that we are going back to that time where we make jokes about this stuff and nobody gets offended and nobody cries about it, you know? It's all just fun because people know that they're not... People aren't on edge and they're constantly not, uh... You know, like, uh, defensive, you know? Because this shit's funny. Yeah, bro, how many eggs? We have to. Yeah, I know. Like, it's just that that's the way I grew up. And um, I, I was always, like, much more at ease then. We celebrate our differences? Yeah, exactly. And it, and it, this, this shit's funny, man. Someone will always get offended. You just ignore them? Yeah, I think so. Especially all the privileged white women who work at tech companies and or graduated from top universities. Asian man here. I hate, I find the hate white man movement so weird because by their logic, we should also hate white women. Why single out white man while being a white woman? It makes no sense. Guys, I'm going to give you... Remember what I told you before about how most people's philosophies are completely self-referential and there's actually no principle or logic in any of them? I've said this many times. I'm going to explain to you an example of that. I have never heard more negative things about white women from anybody else except for white men. And you know what I hear a lot of bad things about black women from? Black men. I see tweets about it all the time. And it's vice versa. And I think the reason why, let's be honest, it's because those are the people that they interact with. So these women that have a problem with white men, they don't really have a problem with white men. They have a problem with their dad. They have a problem with their uncle. They have a problem with their brother. Or they have a problem with their boyfriend or ex-boyfriend. That's really where the problem is from. And this is the same as anything else. Like, for example, like guys that have a problem with, uh, with women, you don't really have a problem with women. You have a problem with the last ex-girlfriend you had. Or you have a problem with your mom. Or you had a problem with, you know, a couple of ex-girlfriends, right? Uh, so, yeah. And, and I think that's really the reason. So that's why white women complain about white men all the time is because that's who they're mostly interacting with. That's the truth. I don't, I, I actually don't think that it's any deeper than that at all. There's no ideology to this whatsoever. They're just raging against the machine. I complain about white males only. Based. Then why do you hate cat boys so much? What does that mean? The, then why I got no problems? Probably because you're normal. Yeah, most people don't really think like this or care about this kind of stuff. And so, uh, yeah, you're probably just normal, and so it's not a big deal. And she privated her account. This is spam. Yeah, of course, right? This proves how hard us minorities have it. Them, please. And the thing is that this is what the issue is, is that I see genuine racism. I think that I see more actual racism now than I did five years ago. I think that we have had... Racism is back in a big way, guys. It's trending again. It's hot. Like, it's getting worse. Yeah, it, it has been. And I find this to be kind of shitty, man. We are so back. Yeah, exactly. And it's like, I find this to be kind of bad. Because now, every single time that, like, something like this happens, now it's like, I, I almost feel like I want to push against this more because it's just... You know, like, I don't support that either. That's bad. So, like, what do you do? Yeah, when you focus on race, it breeds racism. Yeah, I think so. These weird liberals have brought it back. Oh, yeah, for sure. This is a different kind now. I haven't had a store employee follow me around in months. I mean, I don't know. The screenshots cut off the best response. Asians are the largest majority of gamers. Uh, not, wild male, not white males. Asians are the largest majority of gamers? Uh, maybe worldwide. Like, I, I think that there's more Asians than white people. 
right? Just like if you if you count them all up, and it's like which one is there more? I think there's more Asians, but uh, you know, it's a lot of a lot of fucking people in China, for example, right? And so yeah, China games on mobile. Yeah, I, I would assume that. I'm black. I have no idea. These white women are hating white men. Why? What the fuck is this? <laughs> because they don't hate white men. They hate their dad. That's the reason. They hate their boyfriend. They hate the guy that didn't talk to them in, in high school. That's the reason. It's the same reason why, again, you know, like, if you want to hear, uh, you know, like, I'll see these tweets, and it will be like some black chick that has, like, 50 bad things to say about black guys. And you know why she's saying that? Because her last boyfriend was probably a black guy, or her dad. And she's really not talking about black guys, she's talking about her dad, or her boyfriend, or something like that. It's literally that simple, guys. I'm Asian, who the fuck cares about race when it's about gaming? Yeah, I know, it's weird. Um, I think it's okay to do, like, as I said, I think this tweet's not that big of a deal, really. Uh, but overall, I, I wish that we could get past this and people could just, um, you know, act normal. I think the best way to do it is just by lead by example. Just act normal, treat people like people, and uh, stop turning everything into a uh, participation contest, you know? No, uh, racism draws more attention so people focus on it. Yeah, yeah. They're not making it easy? No, they're not. They're not at all. Just be normal. When you hate gender roles so much that you impose rules on how men and women are allowed to act, are you reinforcing any negative gender stereotypes? Are you unnecessarily inducing, uh, introducing gender and gender barriers into your code or design? I, I love how, like, the implication that this is, like, that there aren't barriers between genders. There obviously are. Like, everybody knows this. If you don't know this, you need to stop using the internet. So, yeah, stop using the internet, and it's not that big of a deal. This shit's so frustrating, yeah. Are you creating playable female characters that are equal in skill and ability to their male peers? Are you feel... I, I remember, yeah, I, I already saw this. Like, it would be kind of funny if, like, if you played a game and the female characters just didn't run as fast and they did less damage. <laughs> it would kind of be funny if they did that. But yeah, I would I would argue this is kind of bad game design, you know? It's like, yeah, you probably shouldn't have it, have it work this way. And uh, what's this? And your female character is equipped with clothing and armor that fits their tasks. They have exaggerated body proportions. Well, I certainly hope so. That makes the games more fun. Uh, the story allows you to show male characters that display a full range of emotions, including joy, sadness, and vulnerability. Am I crazy for thinking that, like, you know, like... I think that if you asked a lot of guys in the 2000s who their favorite video game character was, over half of them would all say Master Chief. I think that there is a massive fucking market for people that, like, for example, Kratos or somebody like that. Why do we have to show people being pussies? It's a fantasy story. Of course people have bad moments, but that doesn't mean you have to make a whole story about it. Jesus. Link or Sora, yeah, exactly. I don't like this idea of making everything effeminate and, um, you know, like, trying to take away the, uh... Like, I I'm a big, uh, you know, like... I'll just say it. I'm a big masculine stoicism supporter. I am. I totally agree with that mindset, and I think it's one of the best mindsets to have going forward. I do. Now, is it always the best mindset? No, it's not always the best mindset, but it usually is. And that's what I try to do as much as I can. I try not to get upset about things. I try to just take things and just deal with them and, and, and fucking address it and, and see things for what they are. So why is this seen as a bad thing? I think it's a very good thing. It's great.